Well, well, well. Hassan Campbell gets on Gully TV on IG and talks about Jim Jones, talks about Five God, addresses all the Five God shit. Ten toes down. Like, he goes in. He really does go in. But it's a long video. Check it out. It's good. I can't call it, man. I can't call it, man. I'm living and enjoying life. Okay. Um, I, I need you to clarify some things for me because you know I go go on and do do my little live stream thing. I see um, there's some acrimony going on between you and a former comrade, and it's starting to take shape online. And um, I respect him as a musician, and I respect you as a professional. And I happen to have a, 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 a line of communication with you. So can I give, get uh, can I get some clarity on what's going on between you and the five God? All right, I'm going to clear up some things, right? <laughs> we might have to take our time. I'm going to sh- point some shit out and break down some of the things he said. For example, right? Mr. Snake Oil Salesman. <laughs> Snake oil salesman. I want everybody that's listening to pay attention to a nigga that runs game. Right? The reason why the black community is fucked up is because men don't know how to choose women and women don't know how to choose men, especially. The nigga Five Guard said in his video, he said, he's with his baby mother. He don't he's not with his baby mother. But he, he stays with her to help her with the kids. And he wants to raise a family structure. Meanwhile, his girl lives with her baby father. He's been with Nelly for five years, right? For five, I want you to think about this. Nelly is his girl. He lives with his baby mother because he's helping her bring the kids to school, right? So now, my whole thing is he wants people to see that he's a better father than me even though on the internet he spends more time than the street chasing the young boys with the drill music than he is with his kids so meanwhile you trying to make the world believe hold on hold on Hoss, for one second before you go on clarify i want to make sure i i heard this correctly is this a polygamy situation no he wants us to believe that him and his baby mother is so dedicated to raising the kids that they live with each other so they can help each other, but they're not together. All right, I'm going to give them that. Cool. You can have that one. But his girl Nelly lives with her baby father. When she goes to bed and sleep in the same room with this man, he wakes up with a rock hard on her back every day and sends her outside to five guard, but they're not together. Now, my question to you, because I'm, I'm sick and tired of people being stupid and not listening and dissecting the shit that slick niggas say. So you telling me the only way a man would be with a woman and let her go out to another man for five years is if he is in love with that woman and he want her to come back home. One of the weak niggas that feel like I still want you, I'm gonna fight for this relationship. <laughs> what, you're con- what you're committing is adultery, my nigga. You a home wrecker, and you got this bum bitch running around. She's a home wrecker, he's a home wrecker. She gotta suck a nigga, cause ain't no man gonna sit up there and watch his woman go outside to another nigga. I, could get, I get it, I get it. You and your baby mother, y'all got that working, but you want everybody to believe that Nelly got the same shit working with her baby father for five years? So, Gully, you gonna tell me for five years you gonna watch your baby mother go be with another nigga I and sleep in I ain't even know black people did that type shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, now you got polygamy going on with black men. We're used to that because women outnumber men. All right, cool. A guy with two women, I've seen that. I've seen but you're, try to but you're not going to see a nigga be with a woman for five years unless he love her. You ain't got two arrangements when he sat up there and shook your head, hand and said, but see, my reason for pointing out this ignorance is because this dumb nigga want all of us to be dumb right along with him. And this is the shit that he sell people. Oh, boy. 
the nigga sent somebody to break my car window after I did a live outside. He sent somebody to break my car window. They recorded the car. They even went in the building, went up to the second floor, showed the whole second floor while I was getting some head, getting, I was drunk fucking. I go outside, my car windows broke. The nigga told everybody that whoever that was chased me. Where's the footage at? I got a hundred thousand for anybody who can produce the footage of me running from these same niggas that recorded the whole incident. You see what I'm saying? But and, and this and, and, and all of this is emanating from a, from this this last most recent video. This is this is before and this is all just all the same shit. My whole thing is right. I never really spoke on it because I said some things is not for the for the, for the internet. Right. That was a total violation. My beef right now that I'm going through with Lily, which is my shorty, me and her beefing right now, are not so much beefing, but I got a look on her face and she said to me like dogs. How you bring this nigga to my house and he on the internet disrespecting my kids, calling them retarded, talking about he got some fucked up genes. Like, how you bring a nigga to my house that's sitting up there putting my address on the internet, a nigga that you was good to? Nobody, like, have you ever heard of Five Guard before me? His name was something else. Nah, nah. nah. It was it was Giacana. He paid Vlad $1,500 to be on his platform. But after that, nobody heard nothing. He was running with Star for years. Nobody heard nothing. Star didn't break this nigga. I broke him. Oh, no, no. You definitely broke him. Definitely. Nobody knew who he was. Yeah. When he was Giacana, I had never heard his music. I, nah. I never heard him rap. But he is it, talented. It, yeah, but, but let me ask you a question. You heard his music on my platform. Have you ever played this shit again? No. Nah. No, you know why? When he's speaking to himself, he's speaking to himself a third party like you old heads. Bitch nigga, you're 40. I, I don't like the, I, I, I like some of the drill music. Um, he, 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 he was doing something demonic and I was like, yeah, I didn't know what that was about. Like, um, I think might've been doing some devilish looking shit, man. Had a chain around his neck or something like that. Like he, he kind of lost me in his imagery and shit. I just didn't understand what he did, but um you definitely resuscitated his relevancy online but i i didn't i didn't get this why did y'all fall out it was a bunch of things that was adding up that i was seeing little things that i was seeing but my final draw is when he got he made a video right with the k flock stuff right k flock situation i basically made a video saying y'all failed him his mother failed him Five, everybody failed him. The hood failed him. Constructive criticism. He makes a video. Now, everybody that's been watching me know that I've been trying to squash the beef between D-Thing and K-Flock for months prior, and I predicted what was going to happen. Yeah. Both of them little niggas is in jail. So if you the big homie, how you didn't stop that? He makes a video dissing academics, and in the video, he invites me and academics to his balls. I text the nigga like, nigga, you invite me to your balls? He was like, come on, you know better than that. I just got your name in the title. No, you made it clear. And you also said that me and academics is going to go down. And after him, everything that comes out of the hood is going to be savage. Now, me being a righteous man, a praying man, even though I make mistakes, I make those salats. I still read my Quran. I ask Allah for forgiveness. When he said that after him, everything is going to be savage, I knew we had to part ways. Plus, on top of the fact that a man will never invite me to his balls, and we ain't going to shoot the fear when I see you. Like, especially when I had that type of relationship with him. Right. That's a line that you don't cross. I done gave you everything that I had. I done, you know, everything that I had, I shared with him. You see what I'm saying? Everything. I don't really care about him saying I ran because the way I'm going to violate him on this internet, he ain't going to have no choice but to see me. You know where I live at. You know where both cribs is at. So it's nothing to talk about. I didn't really want to go into this in the internet like that. Pay attention to dogs. Everything that he said that I'm not, 
I go outside. I told them. I've been telling them before before we had the fallout. I said, all my dudes is getting ready to come home from jail at one time. Everybody's coming home. Like, strong niggas. He sees T-Mac come home. I'm in Cortland Ave. In the hood of hoods. He see the hellbound niggas come home. Isn't them. He starts making phone calls telling niggas, yo, this nigga's a snitch. Yo, he got paperwork on him. I, I don't, I've never snitched on nobody in my life, for one. For two, when he got shot, he shot himself. Cheddar Bob, boom. <laughs> Cheddar Bob, I, I don't know if he was doing a spin around. Boom, shot himself. Went to the hospital. Somewhere down the line, they did forensics. It's his gun. His gunpowder, he shot himself. Now, if you really was in a situation, right? Let's use our logic. If oh, you want a situation, oh, 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 oh. when you go to the hospital, they can tell you whether or not if you did it yourself. Yo, if I'll find the picture that he sent me, you could see. Even if you go to his YouTube, you see the bullet hole. He shot himself. You see the forensics. But they went and got the gun, did the forensics, charged him with shooting himself. Now, all right, let's just say he tussled with the gun. Somebody really did try to rob him. If somebody tried to rob him, why is he on the internet beefing with me? You got beef, nigga. Yeah. My yeah. whole thing is, why is he not beefing with China Mac? China Mac went into La Brim some shit, and La Brim made him fool. That's why he's not Brim no more. Now he's hanging out with Sex Money Murder because La Brim and him want that nigga head. Him and the, him and, him and the little nigga rule across. You don't hear him beefing with China Mac at all. It's quiet. He doesn't even mention that nigga name. He's fool. That's why he's hanging around with Sex Money Murder now. Because he know at the end of the day, he got to blend in with something. But it doesn't even matter. See, my whole thing is everybody knows me from sitting at this fucking table. Oh, he's the behind the desk nigga. I made a half a mil last year sitting at this table. Talk to me grown or don't talk to me at all. That bitch nigga is told, telling everybody, my wife, Takoya, right? Throwing her name out there. Throwing Lily name out there. He's sitting up there saying that this is not my house. I've been with this woman for over 25 years. How the fuck this ain't my house? When I, when I, when I was coming up, I had child support, right? So because I had child support, I put everything in everybody else's name and kept my shit off because my baby mother told me if you get married, I'm getting your wife's shit too. My yeah. wife make my wife make over a hundred thousand dollars a year easy. You think my baby mother gonna have her in court for child support? So he tells everybody that you might as well say my baby mother apartment is mine because I pay the rent. Bitch nigga, I pay the mortgage here. If you gonna talk to me, talk to me grown or don't talk to me at all. You having sex with Nelly in a hotel. Dogs. That's supposed to be your girl. You fucking her in the hotel. Where's your own crib? Where's the pictures at with you and Shorty in your own, you bum ass nigga? You hummer stunting. I've been getting money. I've been getting money. Okay, getting money to us means that you on the block, bitch nigga. You're on the block. <clears throat> you were 40 years old and you still on the block. And when I come home, I'm going to still get money. Show me, nigga. This girl was asking me to give you the money to bail you out. And I was going, I was waiting for the call back. I guess they are. I don't know if they are on them or he used his own money. I don't know that. I knew he was going to need lawyer money. He even said in his video, I know Hodge was going to give it to me. So if Hodge was going to give you that, why would you make a thumbnail for your new upcoming album with me in a coffin? Showing me in the coffin, I'm gonna send you the picture. In the coffin, and I'm like, yo, how a nigga that you, you, like, I wanted everything in my heart to see this nigga win. He talking in the video, his biggest mistake, listen to the nigga. People don't listen and dissect. His biggest mistake, because yeah, I was outside the whole, the whole drill move, with the whole drill movement during the COVID with the young boys. And my biggest mistake was, my biggest mistake was, not, he said his biggest mistake was not giving, putting a contract on them. K Flock, B Love, uh, Zay Mutter, Sin Mutter, all of them, like he was amongst all of them. Now, use your logic, bitch nigga. So you telling me all of these little niggas 
didn't sign a contract with him because they seen the, none of them signed the contract. They all jumped ship. Ask that bitch nigga when was the last time he wrote K-Flock. If that's his little man, why he not writing them? Yeah. Come on with the games. Like one minute, let's 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 be men now, right? I feel like the Jay-Z of this shit, and you do too. We both two cocky niggas. You know what I mean? You more cocky than me. Or, or some real shit. You is. <laughs> you talk that dribble shit. What the fuck do I... Now, now I'm going to be disrespectful. What the fuck do I look like standing in the projects, really? When I go to the projects, my niggas came home from jail. I go to visit. No disrespect to my brothers. I don't because, get why, they, um, why people still put any glorification on going back to the projects. I really don't. Um, in, in the summertime, I could understand that. You know what I mean? The jacks be popping in the summertime. It might be cool to slide through, but just the whole emphasis on being an adult, having a life and an, an agenda, and um, beautiful America accessible to you. What is so enticing and glorifying about being in public housing? I don't understand. So, so, so check it, right? Here it is. Like I said, I made over half a million dollars sitting at this table. Why the fuck I want to go outside? I made over half a million dollars sitting at this table. What am I going outside for? But when I go outside, I'm outside with all of the legends. So what them niggas start doing is, oh, this nigga got paperwork. I don't sell drugs. For what? I'm a shooter. Oh, he not, nobody likes him in his whole hood. Why would niggas like me in my hood when I robbed everybody? All of the older niggas in my hood, I extorted. Why would they like me? Everybody that talks to you about Hassan Campbell say that nigga's off the hook, right? But he comes along and he wants everybody to believe that the only reason why I go outside was because of him. But now he's seeing me outside with the, with the old niggas that everybody know, the legends. And he sit up there saying, Oh, the niggas is washed up. Nigga, I'm 45. I'm washed up too. I'm getting ready. I'm, get, I'm getting ready. Now, I'm going to put it I'm going to put it in his words. I'm 45 years old, right? Right. Everything that I do right now is for my last name. He talking about, like, this nigga really. Like, let me show you something. I'm, I'm going to get real disrespectful real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Like on, like on some real shit, man. I, niggas got to understand something about me, right? When you sit up there talking and you telling me that I don't have nothing in my name. My checks come in my name, nigga. I'm legal. I don't even like having, I don't even like having 50s, son. I'm legal. I don't even like having 50s. Like, I'm, like I, I, I'm, I'm sitting here with, 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 with 20,000 in my hand right now, right? Oh, my in my hand right now. <laughs> like, dogs. I have a deposit on a crib in Connecticut in my fucking pocket. Talk to me, grown or don't talk to me at all. Don't talk. Like, I'm sitting up there, like, really getting ready to buy properties in different states. Pro properties. My man just bought a house in Connecticut. I keep telling niggas this. He bought a house. The nigga only put 16000 down. I think his own, his mortgage is, 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 is like eight $900. That's gonna be my clubhouse. I'm doing it for fun. I told um, I told several people. I've been in conversations, and someone asked me about your 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 claims, your claims, and they asked me about your jewelry. And I told them, I said, man, the type of numbers that he's doing, he's easily a fifty thousand dollar a month dude. And shit. I told him. I told him, cause I know what I'd be doing. The shit. On good months, I, I know what you, I know that Alpo month was good to you. I know that I was a <laughs> like I don't understand what's wrong with niggas, but here's here's my thing, right? I got videos in there with my with my jeweler and all that with my jeweler, but my whole thing is fuck the money. Like dogs, did you see what I did to my yard? Like son, I got a living room in my yard. Wait till the spring come back. My yard look like the fucking Botanica. Nigga, what is you talking about? Talk to me, grown. You got a nigga that's living in an apartment with his fucking baby mother. 
And sitting up there trying to clown me, talk about, oh, that's Takoya's house. All oh, right, so I'm the roommate then, nigga, huh? So I'm the roommate like you, nigga? Once He's the you, roommate. Uh, once, once, once you go corporate, right? Because that's what we are. We in a corporate situation. Um, All of that street shit immediately depreciates. Um, It does. Um, You 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 feed into it a little bit more than me in regards to showing these guys like i would never pull out a dub on this motherfucker but, but um damn you, what i was saying is yeah i would never i would never go to that extreme to show these guys but they just don't understand the same attacks that that you was just listing Niggas be saying that same shit to me. I can't show you anything but a bunch of fucking boxes. That's all I got is a bunch of merch boxes all around me. Uh, it's, my life is going to forever be like that. Wherever I live at, people like, why don't you show us your house and show us me? It's, I live in a warehouse. <laughs> now, you know what? You got to do that. Because what, what, like. what, what I'm realizing, the more, the more you... Yo, let me tell you something. There's people that never saw me outside of being a fucking thug, right? right? And the minute that you got niggas that went to, to school and got degrees, and now they sitting up there looking like, hold up, this nigga making more, yeah, I make more money than you making a year. Oh yeah, a month. yeah, yeah, they be baffled, they be baffled. People they don't all, like you, even family. Life, people from all walks of life coming to me and ask me about YouTube and about monetization. And I be saying to myself, I wonder do they think that they're gonna duplicate, you know, my success. I've been I've been doing this shit for almost twenty years. You know what I'm saying you came, you in your situation, you came into this on a high profile, um, very sensitive issue that you decided to share with the world, and that put you in the situation that you're in. Um, and, and and from that, you've been able to create create a brand. They don't understand. They don't understand. They be thinking that they just gonna get on here one day and get the popping and, and it, it's, it's at this point it's just not gonna happen it's way too many people doing this shit. all right check it let me let me let me let me hit you with something real quick right i bet you fifty thousand dollars it's a bet here i bet you fifty thousand dollars i'm more popular than africa bambata definitely so so five guards five guards chances of success we're making this videos with me. He should be. He should be on my level, or he should surpass me, because of the popularity and the push that he's getting right now. Everybody's seeing him. The nigga put up a video, got thirty thousand views. Another video got on um, sixteen thousand. Another video got like seventeen thousand. Ah, let's give him sixty thousand views. Out of them sixty thousand views, his five thousand subscribers didn't grow. They only came to be nosy. It's not growing. <laughs> it's not growing it's not growing niggas don't want to hear you talk they want to hear you talk about me when you upload another video on another topic your shit gonna go womp womp your music streams it's not growing you might get a few nigga I've been pushing this nigga for two years and every time I put a video up with this nigga it get the lowest views so the only way for him to get life right now is to do what Ten Toes Down is doing and keep bringing up my name. All right, let's see what he got to say about Haas. Let's see what he got I, to say about I wasn't going to say his name here. Why did you go and meet with that nigga? Why did you... You gave him a, 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 a certain level of credibility when you went and sat down with him. Why did you do that? Because the nigga that, the, the he, nigga that he, was... He made videos about us. He never stopped. It, 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 he never stopped. Why did you ever even talk to that nigga? Because we had a mutual brother that came home that did 30 years in jail. And when I seen the nigga came home, it was it like it melted a nigga heart. And I said, you know what? I pushed it because my family been asking me to push it to the side. Like I said, my cousin is married to his brother. His brothers is good dudes. These are dudes that if you go out with these niggas, you gonna have a good time with them. And they good dudes. They ain't no street dudes. They good dudes. Not to say that they can't get street, they good dudes. Right. Like good friends to have, good family members to have. He's the piece of shit. <laughs> so me sitting up there trying to say, you know what, I'm gonna give this nigga one last chance before I actually rock his snot box and knock his shit off. Cause like now it's to the point we can't see each other and I'm not gonna hurt you. I got I just like I told him when I seen him, 
Like, because Five Guard can sit up there and talk whatever he want. He talking about when we went to go sit down, he was there to squash it. No. We already went and squashed it and sat down at City Island in a restaurant two nights before then. So when he came out there for the second time, he just came to roll. He didn't come because I needed muscle. First and foremost, Five Guard has never, ever been tested in the battlefield in front of my face for me to feel confident in his ability to get busy. I've never seen him do nothing. Even when he went to Math Hoffa, he sit up there saying, I brought him for muscle, nigga, I had a nigga with me that never got out the car the whole time. Academics will tell you, Queens Flip will tell you, anywhere I go, I only bring one or two niggas. I don't need a thousand niggas because, it, 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 son, we're not wrestling. This is not Hulkamania. Ain't nobody going to have me in a room like Fat Joe had Pat Poops talking about Pat Poop, Pat Poop. It's not happening. It's not <laughs> happening. It's not happening. Five Guard is a piece of shit. And if niggas can't tell he a piece of shit, you take that nigga home. Because the reality of it is, how you flip it and have a nigga talking about a nigga not raising his kids. I raise all my kids. No, all my kids is not on the internet. No, every one of my baby mothers is not going to want all my kids on the internet. But that nigga outside with your kids, corrupting your kids, talking about after him, everything going to be savage. Nigga, you 40. The young boys don't feel comfortable hanging out with him, and he don't feel comfortable hanging out with niggas his age because he looks stupid doing that stupid dance. That shit looks stupid. He looked like a fucking idiot. Tight jeans and big feet. Come on, man. He's wild, man. Oh, Bigfoot, tight jean ass nigga. Talking about, yeah, I'm tired of your old heads. Hold up, nigga. You the same age as us. Tired of your old heads talking about the bitch nigga, your hairline, your fucking hairline is scary. The top of that, you no, look at that picture. Go to my page and look at that picture with him in the hospital bed. As a matter of fact, I probably gotta put it back up because I deleted that bitch ass nigga. I'm, like, I'm not playing with him. You and Five Guard look tired. Talking about I'm in the streets. Nigga, so what age do you leave the streets? Talk to me, grown or don't talk to me at all, man. Right, right now, I'm sitting up here trying to figure out how to start my next businesses so that when niggas say YouTube is over, nigga, if YouTube is over, remember what you made in a month. I mean, in a year, I made in a month. So I can sit back and ride my money while you wait for me to fall. This is what niggas fail to realize. Right. Right, you can't fathom that. That's why the first thing they sit up there and say... His money is real. Well, I got to go get the pen and mark the shit? <laughs> or, should we, or should we just go to the store and go shopping? That's how it look. That's definitely how it look. Uh, that's how YouTube money look. Or, or it be shrink wrapped and shit like that. Come on, man. Nigga better understand, man. Like, he, he should talk to me grown and don't talk to me at all, man. Um, and I'm not, like, I'm not even, son, I'm not even finished, man. Talk to me grown or don't talk to me at all. This nigga talking about I don't have nothing in my, I got money in my name. Legal money, which means legal checks, which means I can put a deposit on a house. I'll upgrade your bitch. I'll upgrade your bitch, Five Guard. I'll put a deposit. Matter of fact, I won't even get a house. I'll get the, I'll get the bitch an apartment and pay the, the rent for three months. It won't even fuck her. Because your nuts is swimming in her. And her baby father's nuts is swimming in her. That's some nasty shit. The reason everybody wants to be a YouTuber, my nigga, you keep waving around these big bracelets and these niggas' face and these bankrolls and shit. Everybody think they're going to have that same... Yeah, you see them dirty-ass bloods? Oh, far for the movement. Nigga, your movement ain't moving. <laughs> Ever since I stopped speaking to you niggas, you struggling to get 5,000 fucking views with your 5,000 subscribers. Like, ew? Hang it up. The bad part about it is, is the internet look dirty now. It do. The internet look dirty now. Like, hold up. Nigga talking about, I learned how to dress from him. All right, so I'm going to start dressing bummy again. But you just get some money, nigga. Let me see it. Show me some money. And don't sit up there and tell me you're getting money and, and flash your rolly and your chain. Get enough money to get your bitch out of her baby father house. Mm. I'm tired of her waking up with his dick on her back. Listen. I got one more thing I want to ask you before we get up out of here. I appreciate your time. I wanted some clarity on that. You know they uh they arrested somebody for Alpo killing last night. Yo, I gotta see it to believe it. Cause I felt like that whole shit was staged. 
I didn't. Um, somebody sent me the link right before we got on here, so I didn't really open it up and go into it. But it seems to be real. I think more than one person has, has hit me about it. They're asking me things and shit. I, I want to see the guy face and shit. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm waiting for. I want the I want the face and I want the evidence. Like how did how y'all know he he the one that did this? Because they said something about he was he's in, he's already in jail and they charged him. So how you know he did it? Yeah. That's my whole thing. Because y'all gotta come better than that. Don't just tell me this nigga did it. Show us the proof. Show us who he is. I didn't ever expect nobody to be charged with it. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't think the police cared, and I know that the public probably didn't care. Shit, I didn't think. Was nah, it's too many. It's too many cameras. It's too easy of a work for them not to have caught the nigga that did that. It was too many cameras. You got to keep in mind in Harlem, there's a million cameras. The nigga that killed that girl at McDonald's, they caught the nigga in Brooklyn. Followed him all the way through his AirPods. They do. They knew from his AirPods in his pockets that it was him. So you gonna tell me a nigga that's in Harlem, you you don't know that he did that? Come on, man. Wow. Wow. Hi, right, so I appreciate your time, my nigga. We could probably do this again sometime soon. We got some tricks up our sleeve. They don't have no no clue and shit what uh, lines of communication can create. So, you know, I mean, they might hear from us again sometime soon. I've been putting, um, I wanted to tell you this too. I've been putting a little bit more emphasis on, on actual podcasting, meaning some of your episodes, some of your live streams, uh, some, some of your videos on topics, you can MP3 those joints. You can have some- right. Put them in an MP3 format, and you off to the races on the on the um on the podcast platforms. Everybody can't listen. I mean, everybody can't watch us. There's people who make they they make they live in driving UPS drivers, Amazon truck drivers, um, Lyft, Uber. These are people who making a living in their car, and they they can't watch us, but they can listen to us and shit. So, yeah, I wanted to pull you up on that and shit. And, and again, I appreciate uh. You taking the time to come here and air that out with him because it's been going on for a minute. I don't think anybody had any um, understanding of what happened between y'all. Let me tell y'all, little niggas in the comment section, with y'all little slick comments, man. You can say whatever you want, call me a mook and all that oak, all that corny shit. But the reality of it is, you niggas is broke. <laughs> you broke. You broke having broke sex, having broke kids, broke sex, and putting them in poverty. That is a crime against humanity. You females need to stop giving these bum ass niggas sex. You're broke. You should be asking instead of sitting up there in the comment section talking shit. You should be sitting up there asking a nigga, "How could I get some bread just like you, nigga? You're broke." I be telling them that some a lot of the shit that they be saying and shit. Those emojis, those emojis aren't worth. They they not worth anything and shit. So um, if anything, someone should probably be trying to ask somebody some questions, some legit questions and. Maybe they can get put up on some type of game because this um, this algorithm and the people who bless to be able to establish themselves within it, it, it does take some skill set. Somebody, somebody likes Hassan Campbell. Somebody returns to your platform on a regularly, super chats, shares your videos, gives donations, et cetera, et cetera. So no, it's not the algorithm. You know what it is? It's it's that it's the I don't give a fuck, and this nigga's going to say some shit. That nobody else is gonna say, and it's the sharing, cause YouTube is trying to muffle me, kill me down, cause I'm destroying their puppets. They don't like me fucking with their rappers like that. Like when anytime you got the verses coming, and I got Styles P reaching out saying, "Hold up, this nigga Hassan Campbell." When you got a phone call from Styles P, cause you talking about them dipset niggas as rats, nobody else had the balls to say that. Nobody else had the balls to ask D Block, "Well, why y'all performing?" With these niggas, well, you know, Jim Jones ain't no good and Freaky Zeke ain't no good. 50 don't fuck with Jim Jones at all. Interesting. After that Takashi situation, no good. Takashi told me straight up and down, he, he couldn't even speak. He couldn't even talk about oh, Jim Jones for a while. He couldn't even mention his name. It was in a contract. So it was like, that niggas are sitting there. Like, answer me one question, right? Why is it that Jim Jones, the 50-year-old rapper, could put out albums right now, but for some reason, Big Daddy Kane can't, KRS-One can't, um, Rock Kim can't? Like, Busta Rhymes ain't even dropping an album. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, from my, my uh, perception, what I'm seeing, Jim got style. Um, Jim is obviously a workhorse. 
he be working like a motherfucker and I noticed that he's able to um take someone who might not have been in the best situation the first time and and bring them back around um his his his, his bird gang the bird gang when he had to have bird gang a lot of those dudes was already out sandman was already out um they, you know these dudes was, was already out and they didn't really pop like that but with jim jones you see like May, mano was he took someone like mano who wasn't really in a good situation and he took the talent that he has and, and put up and made a package it, it might be um he, he's a hustler he's a hustler he stayed with some he stayed with some music online for people to buy and so it's safe to say he took a nigga like Mano that's been in the game for 20 years and finally made him a rapper. That's what it looked like. When, he, when he's almost, when he, he he made him relevant at 50 years old. So uh, this is, so it's safe to say we at the, the Michael Jackson, this is the, this is it point of their career. It's, it's all or nothing for these 50 year old rappers that's talking about the lobby boys and they're in the lobby, even though they coming from a mansion to, to stand in front of the projects Jim Jones, they got robbed so many times in the hood. What is your purpose of coming back to the hood with a million dollars worth of jewelry on? Talking about you a lobby boy. I don't know. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> but niggas get mad at me for being inside the house and actually showing niggas, yo, I make money in my house. And a nigga eat good. I eat, yo, I eat good. Not the nigga, I eat good. Good. I don't. Stop the hating, man. That's all I'm going to tell you. I stopped the hating. The window of opportunity is closing unless you kick the motherfucking door in. Believe that. Believe that. Um, with, with, with another thing uh, with Jim, I, 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 you know, music is my thing. My platform is beat, uh, was built, built on the music shit, the hip-hop shit. Niggas from New York don't be working like Jim Jones. Jim Jones just did a a project with DJ Drama not long ago. Um, I think it was an album. In addition to this situation that's going on with Mano, he, he just constantly got some dope on the market. You know what I'm saying? When was the last time Fabulous had some dope on the market? Name some of these guys, you know, from the East Coast who, who are rappers, uh, who had some, some relevant dope on the market. Like Jim Jones keeps something online for people to consume. And I believe that's why he's still here. Uh, the criteria, the shit that he rap about, it's never changed. So uh, as he's aged, as he gets older, it's gonna it's it's gonna start to look more and more funny. You know what I mean? But the shit that he's rapping about now, he's always rapped about being a gangster and shit like that. Yes, he is fifty now, and yes, it might be time to start make a new a new style of rap and i don't know if he's capable of doing that but uh hey man he's the only one from diplomats still making music and shit. you know what i'm saying <laughs> just look at just look at it like that the, the rest of them don't even make music anymore he, you know what though the one thing i will give him is that his shit is hot but it just don't sound right coming out of his mouth because for one, you're not living that. For two, you don't have to live that. Nah. If you got a nigga coming, coming out of the hood, 40 years old, still rapping, that ain't never left the hood, I can understand the grittiness because the, the nigga still fucked up and trying to survive. I can't understand a nigga that's on boats, yachts, and mansion parties talking about how he's spinning the block and busting his gun and then he about to be dropping a drill album. Like, for what? Nigga, you almost to the point where you need Viagra. Like, stop. That is fucked up. That's fucked up. Like, like for real. I showed niggas the video with him at the camp, the, 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 the lake, Camp Crystal Lake with Michael Myers and Jason and him be at with his son. His son is on a lake with white kids. And he's sitting up there like, Papa. But then he get in front of the camera and you all gritty like, no, nigga, you leading our kids to the hellfire. This is why these young boys are killing each other. This nigga whole crew locked up when he was on top of the game. Why you wasn't feeding the wolves? 
One thing I say about, you know what I mean, my big, my big bro, T-Mac, right? Before he went to jail, when I started transitioning and, and falling back from certain things in the street, the nigga was making sure every week I had bread in my pocket so I did not have to come. I only came outside for one thing and one thing only. A nigga kept a nigga out the streets. When you got wolves like Melly around you, why the fuck was he, why is he running around with CEO Chris? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Takashi made it clear, man. He said, yo, man. He said, I came along. The nigga, Shadi was sleeping on the floor. Shadi wouldn't have been sleeping on the floor if I had some bread. Because I'm going to keep niggas around me that's going to make sure when shit get real. That's why when niggas be in the comment section talking about, oh, yeah, you come outside. Nigga, if I go outside, anytime you see me outside. Want to know something? Almost the whole dip set was living like that. Um, I knew 40 Cal to always dress nice, and I believe he probably had cars and shit like that. But everybody, they were only the diplomats when it was time to perform and shit like that. Like, me and Uncas are real, you know, real close and shit like that. They wouldn't have no contact with each other. They don't call each other. These niggas is not friends. They don't call each other. They don't have no interaction with each other until it's time to be the diplomats. This shit was strange as a motherfucker, yo. Like, because, you know, they all dress nice and shit like that. They all dress nice. And, you know, when you get around them and shit, you get to see in the levels and shit, like, who don't really got no money for real and shit like that. And them niggas will... I never seen no shit like this where... Because I, I, I come up around hustlers and shit, man. And, and the niggas that I was around... They, they 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 had plenty and they wanted you to have plenty. It wasn't no situation where this nigga is the only one eating good food at night and shit like that. Like, um, and you gotta ask to eat. Like you might be hungry or you might have something going on and like this this shit was strange as a motherfucker, man. I'm like, this is a very, very bizarre situation. And I believe it started out bizarre. I believe there was never really no diplomats except for Jewel's. Cameron and Jim. Everybody else was kind of like living like Mel Matrix and them was like just sleeping anywhere, trying to get by and shit like that. This shit was crazy. This shit was crazy as a motherfucker, man. It was it was real. It was wild. And the dudes that uh, the guys that get money and shit like that to be around the diplomats, they weren't rappers. They weren't rappers. Like the rappers, the rappers is like kind of fucked up, like for real. Except for Cameron and them. But everybody else. Is... Yo, Cam don't fuck with Jim though. <laughs> I, I fuck with niggas. I got niggas around them niggas that be around them. And Jim do not speak to Cam at all. I mean, Cam don't speak to Jim at all. No conversation. No conversation. Even when they did that shit at the own um, at the verses. Yeah. They had separate separate rooms, came out before, them, and even Jim just said, yo, I ain't speak to own cam ever since versus. Them niggas do not talk at all. Yeah. I they, wonder why. Really, I mean, he they after the that live stream that Cam did when he was dancing with his girl and shit, you know, the shit that made Jim cry, whatever. <laughs> they could never be good friends again. If just keeping it real and shit. But Hold up, Cam was dancing with his own girl, right? Nah, Cam Cam made a video on it was a it was a live. It was on Instagram. He was live for like an hour and he just told everything. This is when he told about the nigga Zoo um who got in trouble. I think he, you know, killed a juvenile or something about Jim or someone. He talked about Zoo when he talked about Max B and, and then at the end, like he aired everything out. It was a really, really bad video. He started fast dancing with his girl Juju and spinning her around and shit like that. I knew that they could never really be friends after that, not without having a fist fight at least. So I don't know, man. I'm they, they, that they they that's over with. The diplomat thing is over with. What, what's your situation with Jim? Why why do you um take such interest in it? You said because he be promoting the gang shit still. My problem with Jim Jones is after I sat back and I watched. And listen to that that the 
he was on two wiretaps. Or rather, he's on wiretaps. His name is in two different indictments. Mel Matrix had his own indictment from that shit with Takashi. You had two different indictments. The nigga is no good to me. You get caught in a high-speed chase with guns and drugs down south. Not a day in jail? That's not normal. The south doesn't play that. He is a felon. This nigga is Mr. Untouchable. I know too many situations that I can't really get about. Jim Jones got massive niggas in jail behind him that you never hear about. And my whole thing is once you get to a certain level, when you see you done fucked up so many niggas' lives, when do you change? This nigga walking around destroying niggas. Even to this day, right? When you see Jim coming to the hood like that, and he keeping some of them young boys around him, or even some of the older ones, do you realize some of them niggas is getting caught with guns just for him to play in the hood like that? Some of them niggas is doing five-year bids. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Them niggas deserve that shit. Them, them adult crash dummies, holsters, them adult holsters. <laughs> niggas deserve that shit, man, just to be around a rapper and shit like that, man. If, if that's they fate, if, that, if that's what's happening and shit like that, them niggas deserve that shit. I mean... I he living up to his name. Who was Jim Jones? A dude that did what? What did Jim, the real Jim let Jones do? Let some people to their demise. Let them to their death. And, and he's living... He's living up to his name. He's leading people to death, and I don't like that because I see too much. I get way too many jail phone calls. You got a point now. I never looked at it like the way you just broke it down. I never looked at it like that. So, yeah. The, the, nigga, the nigga had the power to use his voice. He ain't got to spend all his money. He had the power to put niggas mentally in a position where a nigga like, because you could tell Melly's a, a, a slow Brooklyn nigga. He'll get busy, nigga, but he a slow, nigga. It ain't gonna, it's going to take for him to be 60 years old for him to finally wake up like, yo, I can't do this anymore. He a dumb, nigga. Mm. Shoddy a little bit more uh, smarter, but he's a dusty, nigga. Jim Jones could have led them niggas in a different direction. But because you see a nigga, Jim Jones is a king. He got followers. He's overstepping all the traps where everybody falling in it. Who does that? The devil. That's the devil's work. And I'm going to call a spade a spade because I know real niggas that's going to tell you, yo, this ain't for you. You shouldn't be doing this. Come on, Jimmy know every bit of that. You listen to that to, to that interview he did with Mayno. He sit up there talking about, yo, Melly had to save me like a thousand times and come get me out of certain businesses, barbershops, or builders going to see chicks. You know why? Because you're not built for that. You're not built for that. If I come outside, no matter where I'm at, I'm not calling a thousand niggas to come get me because I'm already fully, fully equipped. So if we go act up, you gonna understand. Y'all gonna shoot, we gonna shoot. That's it. Ain't no, ain't no in betweens with that. Ain't no in betweens. Hmm. You finding yourself somewhere, and when you get there, niggas is outside. They outside because you being lined up. You stupid nigga. Yeah, the um, the whole outside cliche. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it came from a rap song or something like that. But if you look at the complexion of what's going on outside, it's just a bunch of people getting shot. Um, I, a nigga ain't never got shot on his couch, minding his business. You know what I mean? The people who, um, you know, we see people getting killed. These are people who are outside. Like, they normally participants in this shit for one reason or another and shit. So, I don't know. I've seen some of the illest killers get killed. And niggas crying over their casket. Nobody, niggas don't love you till you're dead, man. I don't give a fuck how tough you is. It was never a nigga too tough for the grave. I've seen the best of the best fall to that grave. And when niggas be bragging about being outside, I was outside the whole COVID. Like, dogs, it's fucking 13 degrees outside, 37 degrees outside. Who the fuck is outside? Yeah. Oh, the 40-year-old nigga trying to sell drugs. Don't get mad at me because I can sit behind my, my, my desk and I could sit up there and have your whole income tax sitting right in my back pocket. This is emergency money. If I got to go on a run because I done torn nigga ass up or some shit done happen, I'm out. I know I got at least 10 in my pocket every day. I keep 10 in my pocket every day. Talk to me, grown or don't talk to me at all, my man. <laughs> y'all niggas keep on playing with me. I'm not, see, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm not the nigga that's going to tell you I'm going to fuck your girl because I think nasty niggas fuck, fuck behind other niggas. 
Only a nasty nigga wait for a nigga to leave and go smash his girl. He probably smashed her the night before. Yo, come swimming with his cum. No, I don't like that. But what I will do is I will take your bitch and I will upgrade her. I will get her out of her mother's house. She will not stay in her baby father house. We don't play them games, man. Talk to me grown or don't talk to me at all. That's it. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I get it. <laughs> I'm getting up out of here, man. I appreciate your time. Y'all subscribe to the channel. Y'all know where this playback could be. Hassan, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'll be in touch. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye.